I'm Nikki, and this is my gorgeous family. Chris, Bo, Bear, and our salty puppy, Buddy. We've been sailing around the world for three years now on Pickle, a catamaran we bought, renovated, and learned to sail on after I had a life-changing epiphany when I was in ICU with meningitis. Subscribe, welcome aboard, and enjoy the ride. Hugging the old pooch. Gorgeous moon tonight. Wow, fantastic! Lights up the whole sky. I have company on my night shift tonight. You want to go back to bed? I got rather annoyed actually. Took him back to bed. I, don't worry, I did change for wee and stuff first. I tried to bring him back into bed several times, and he won't go back to bed. So he's sitting up with mummy. I don't know why he wants to sit up with mummy. But he's sitting up with mummy. Oh well. Bo's always used to start with me on my night shift, so maybe it's his age, maybe that's it now. He doesn't like to leave me out on my own, so he sits up with mummy. We've only got about 22 miles to Croatia to go, and it is quarter to two. So I'm on till uh, quarter three, quarter four, quarter six. I'm on till quarter to five, three hours. We do three hour shifts. So I'm on to quarter to five, so. Yeah, cool man, eh? We're going quite slow though, and then we're just plugging along. The wind's died, so we've got engine on, and we're only doing about four knots, so. Takes a while to get there, won't it? <laughs> it's alright then. It's not a bad night, full moon. You can see quite a lot. <laughs> Look at the moon setting. Red tonight. It's slipping behind behind us like that. Oh, and I just saw a shooting star. Although you guys missed that one, I'll be making a really good wish. No night, night moon. Made it to Croatia, didn't we? Hi. Hi. You going to check the anchor for me? Yeah. The waters look a lot cleaner here than Italy. They look lovely. I'll come and check with you. We're going to go and check the anchor. Checking in process is really easy. We just pulled up onto the queue dock in Amag. And then at the end of the dock, there's literally the police, little police white building. We went in, did all the checking in with them, custom officials, and then we went across the road, literally 100 meters, not even that, into the, um, you just go down that little alleyway and then upstairs and you go in there and uh, check in the whole master and do the whole Vignetta thing, which is like cruising tax you have to pay for the year. I already paid the uh, tourist tax online, that was quite expensive. So yeah, all paid up, all checked in, yeah. everything's done and we can now relax. So we've come out of, uh, come out of our mag and just sailed on five nautical miles to this little <laughs> anchorage, which is really lovely. <laughs> really quiet, really beautiful. I'm just gonna dive in and check the anchor. And Bear's gonna do it, yeah. I'm gonna go in first. You do it on your own for the first time? Yeah. You're so brave. Are you gonna watch me? You want me to watch her? Yeah. I've lost it even if you don't. Are you winning or losing, Bear? You've lost it even if you lose it, yeah, that's right, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Hard game, huh? Where's my puppy? Oh! And there's my puppy. Hello, puppy. This is a good baby. Oh, lay down, lay down. You don't want to go back to sleep. Oh, stretchy, stretchy. So after a night owl, generally we have quite an easy day. Just because everybody's really tired. Well, I don't know why the kids are tired, but they do get disturbed throughout the night. 
and I'm really tired. I've actually had a couple of hours of sleep, but so is Chris. It's so tiring. Just didn't sleep well either of us last night. I had like a, a run in with a container ship. Well, not actually, like, we didn't actually run into each other, but it was going, I don't know, 7.8 knots, I think, with, um, with the ability to cross in front of me. So I kept my course and speed as you meant to, and um, with the expectation that he was going to cross in front of me, about a mile in front of me. And then, um, yeah, I don't know what happened, he just slowed down. So within a mile of each other, he just slowed down to four point something knots, which equaled my speed, which meant that we was then on a collision course. So I was slightly annoyed tried radio my radio won't work for some reason Chris has had a look at it actually it was wiring some wire had come out or something anyway so I didn't know what to do I didn't know whether to stop I would have had to stop completely and turn sideways to let him pass because we were that close anyway so I just thought you know what I put my foot down so I just um, accelerated went a lot faster to cross in front of him and I got within about half a mile maybe a bit more maybe a bit closer and he speeded up again so, I don't know what flipping Ellie's game was. Western Moscow's name was, that boat. So I started showing him a torch at him. Showing like, I'm here, what are you doing? So then he started signaling me in Morse code with the torch. Helpful. Anyway. And then Chris got up, because he got the amp, because I woke him up, because I read the engine quite high, because it was going quite fast. And um, then Chris, come up, mess around with the wires and the radio, got the radio working and radioed the guy, radioed them, said, what are you playing at? And they went, go to channel 06, so we did, and then they wouldn't answer on 06. And then I got past. I just about got past before there was a collision course. I had to stop and turn around and go back the other way to get out of his way. It was crazy. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. But it's probably a good idea. It's probably a good job that they didn't answer the radio because Chris would have probably gone mad because he was in a really foul mood. <laughs> I would have gone, what are you playing at? <laughs> Why change course and direction? Why change speed? <laughs> anyway, I have no idea what was, what was going on with them. I don't know why they were doing the things they were doing because obviously I didn't get to speak to them. They maybe had engine problems. It could have been all sorts of reasons. I don't know. Anyway, so that wasn't fun. And it woke Chris up and then he got the up. So then he didn't get much sleep. And then I went down and I couldn't sleep. So restful day today. And I went for a swim and got stung by Jenny. Oh, yeah, you did, didn't you? Is it hurting? It's not really hurting too bad, is no, it? No, it's still hurting. It wasn't a really bad one, was it? No, but mum. It's little one. No, but mum. Little ones like that? Like yeah, little goose. They look like goose, you know, and long. Like, but mum, my whole back got stung, like from up there. Yeah, but down I can't to really see it now. Let me have a look now. Oh, yeah, it's a bit red there. His back is tiny, though, remember that. If it's swished down his little back. Yeah, and like. And his cool little sharp parts. And it was just down there like my torso bit part. Mm. And my voice sounds a bit croaky, doesn't it? We've all had a bit of a bug, you know, guys. We yeah. all had, we all somehow from Venice picked up some sort of fluey type thing, which has made us all little, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm like, my eyes are like, oh, it's bright, it's really bright. I'm squinty, squinty. Um, yeah, we all picked up like a fluey type bug. Not COVID, I tested. I tested twice actually, because I wasn't convinced, but, although you probably should test over a few days, but no, anyway. We're all, we're all getting better. It's just a bit of a bug. Makes it upset all our tummies, give us all tummy ache. As well as like the fluey thing. Anyway, we just got on with it. Keep away from the videos so we don't give it to anybody else. We've got on with it, haven't we? And we're in Croatia now. And I don't know, it's just got a really good feeling about it. It just feels so good. I can't tell you, it just feels so good. The waters are so clear and lovely. And it just makes you want to dive in. And it's just so nice to be out of those lagoons and in this beautiful fresh air and fresh water. It's nice, it's nice, you know. It's got like an alpine feel. I can't quite explain it. This Croatia, it's like, um, it doesn't feel Mediterranean. It feels more Eastern European, you know? Well, I suppose it's more Eastern European, isn't it? Anyway, can't wait to show you around. Wish we'll salon next day or two. See some new places, take you out there into the towns and show you around. Hopefully you'll enjoy that. What are we doing? Okay, for the first walk. <laughs> I think I meant to walk like a speedy walk, like too far, but actually, I think I've walked beyond that. I think we're now in the next bay. <laughs> Which is hilarious. No, what the hell? Come on, let's cross over and find out where we are. Come on, be 
Look at the doggies. It's crazy. It's exciting, it's exciting. New soil. If this was Bozo, he wouldn't have done anything yet. He'd just be sniffing around. Because Bozo used to sort of. That's where we are. That's Clarissa. Oh, what? Sorry. Oh, you're fine. Awesome. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. This orange shawl looks like Australia. Yeah, it does. It looks like the outback, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Crazy. Like a rusty. Isn't it? it must have lots of copper or something. Yeah. Very smart. Is it? No idea. It's got orange. It's lovely. Orange rocks and everything. It's nice. It's now. Look, guys. You made it back round. May eat it. Yeah. It's cool. Look right there. <gasps> Hello. Can you see her? She looks really pretty. Hello, Mum. Hello, Mum. I got my socks on, so it's not a slippery. She's so brave now, though. She's so brave. Daddy's coming to fetch his up, Bobo. That is over there, isn't it? Hello, baby. King of the castle, my dude! Yeah, oh! King of the castle! I'm the dad! Is that Yeah! I need to live danger! Yeah! I need to wrap the rope! Buddy's patiently waiting for dad and he's gonna launch himself into the tent, so I'm gonna get this on video. Whether it goes goodly or badly, I don't know. I'm not. Yeah. Woo! Oh! Whoa. Right! I've got wet feet in socks, which is horrible. Oh, if he drops those trainers in, I will cry. I will cry. Can right, you get it? Get in, boy. Yeah, Sunset. It's absolutely beautiful. It's so oh gosh, I can't see. It's so pink. It's like red. Like but not like red, it's like magenta. The camera does not do it any justice, but it's just beautiful. Look at that. The camera doesn't do it any justice, does it? I can't see now. That is shockingly amazingly beautiful, crazy. Oh my god. You could share it with you, honestly, honestly, honestly. It's phenomenal. Yeah. Phenomenal. Oh. It's really beautiful that isn't it? Yeah. Like crazy. Oh shit, my camera just picked up man. I have these like experiences and it's just Wow. I've set popcorn. I'm just gonna have a cup of tea. Yeah. Everybody's knackered because of the night sound. <laughs> Walk the dog, had a swim. That was just Oh my god, and the moon, the moon! The way. There, awesome. there, there, there. Massive big moon's out too. Oh what a beautiful evening. What's that There's night in Croatia. Does not disappoint. Look at that great big moon. Uh -huh. Very, very, very cool. I don't know if you can see this. This is the most jellyfish I've ever seen in my whole life. Can you see them all? Can you see them all? There are hundreds of thousands, hang on, everywhere. I don't know if you'd be brave and get in so you can, I guess, some GoPro footage of it. Look, they must be able to see them, surely. I bet they can't, can they? You can see them underwater, you can't, honestly. I don't know about them. Hundreds of thousands of them. We're looking these up. They're these neon lighted jellyfish, I think are called jelly eggs or something. I don't think they're poisonous. They produce some kind of nucleus instead which all the fish stick to and then they digest them but I don't think they like give out stings like other jellyfish. Are you recording? I'm taking you in guys. I'm going to swim with all the jellyfish so you can see what I can see because I'm not sure you can see it on my phone, on my camera. So I'm being really brave. Everybody else is not. I'm going to dive in and show you all the jellies. I'm going to swim for it. It's like soup. It's crazy. I'm hoping you're going to get to see it. So here we go. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, you can see me on the side. Soupy jellyfish! 
Yeah. Just go swim with the soupy jellyfish. It's not going to be fun, I'm sure. I'm a bit worried about it. Right then. Your banana boat, huh? Yeah. You practicing? I'm doing really well. I've got this little dog. Don't get out from between my legs, little dog. It is good exercise. You're brilliant. I can. If you if you jump off too far, I'll be coming to get you on my tender. Sorry, bear. The dog won't leave me alone. How am I meant to walk when you put your head between my legs all the time? It's literally impossible. <laughs> I literally can't walk, buddy. Oh, dog, you're just so much hard work. <laughs> Where are you going? Turn then. Keep going. Keep going. Turn harder. Turn harder. It's taking you bear. Come on, turn harder. Keep going. You're going to come back. Turn. Come on. Come on. Keep going. Come on, you can do it. Keep turning. Good boy. Don't panic. Keep going. Good boy. Well done. He just took him. Yeah, just took him. In seconds, he went off down there. You can see a little, little panicky face coming on. Good boy, well done. That's it, keep going now. Be quiet. Hi. Come on in, Bear. Keep going. I'm not going back Well done. You coming in? Yeah. Give me to help you. Grab your rope. Yeah. Did you panic? Yeah. <laughs> Did you panic a lot? It's all right, I'll help you. I'll stop video. Well done, Bear. You did fantastic. Thanks. Doesn't like the car. Oh, do you want to stop now? He's a really good guard dog. Yeah, very. It's only seven months and he's already doing it. it we don't need an anchor alarm. We've got him. If this boat moves or anything comes near our boat, he tells you. Even when it's our own kayak. <laughs> That's not what like the kayak. What is it, buddy? What is that? What is that? Is it all nasty? I've even shown kayak? him what it is, Mark. Nasty, nasty kayak. Nasty. Look. Look, buddy. Look. If I put it around here, you'll be able to see it. Look. Yeah. There you are. There you are. Oh, it's Mummy's kayak. <laughs> kayak. You see? You see? Oh, nice kayak. Should we get it? Should we get it? Should we get it? Should we get it? Mum, it's full of water. Nice kayak. Huh? It's cold tonight. It's good, huh? Okay. Oh, it's nice. gone. Okay. Yeah, okay. It's a bidet. Oh, is it? It's a kayak. It's just a kayak. Why? Yes, 
that's fine, buddy. It's okay. It's okay. He's okay. He's okay. It's just the kayak, and it's our own. Oh, oh God, it's starting again. No. No, buddy. Bye, move. Yeah. We're currently sailing about 4.5, maybe 5.1 knots. Um, we've got both our sails up full, and well, not the Janar because of the burning system, but we're going to put our mini hang on sail, which is there, our baby sail up. I'm saying to you, we'll be able to hear me as soon as I got up here. It's in that nice bag that's usually under the sofas. This is the first time trying it actually, I think. And that will get pulled up with this blue rope all the way up there. It's a fair big sail as well. It's not, it's, it's a small sail, but it's quite big as well, if you know what I mean. It's like small compared to the rest, but big. It's like halfway up the mast, so it's like a second you know if you know what I mean. I'm gonna go to the front and I'll squat down. Awesome. Let's go, we're fine, we're going about five, five and a half knots. Flipping it on in like ruffles like you do with the um, main set when you're putting it away. You have, to, you have to hold it, you put it on there. Up there, sir! Anna! Oh, we got baby sail! Yeah, little bear, you've got a sail! Ah, oh, for you, then! Oh, it's so cute, we've got three sails up! Let's go, get a look at it. Huh? Better than sails. That's it, I suppose, isn't it? It's a small sick. Out a bit, I think. Oh, it's increased that lot. I didn't do five knots of that. And I've dropped down again. We're at 6.7 before. Yeah. I think it's pretty cool. Oh my god! Yes! He's a self tacky one as well, Nicky Long. Yeah. I can't believe we got three stars up. Wait, three years to get that bugger up. Is it three years? I don't know, a long time. Third season. I wanted that for ages. I'm so excited. Oh my God. Look at my sails, man. Two, do you know what's up? Okay. Baby stay. Do you know I'm main Can you see it? And then my main sail. Wow, mama. Just casually having all three sails up. Look at my sails. They probably trimmed all wrong, like. I'm so excited. Trimmed wrong or not, I'm so excited. Excited. This looks nice. It's so yummy. Although it's all like off the weights now, but it's so yummy. Delicious. Tuna. Oh my god, I can't nice wait. Nice tuna. I cannot wait. Nice garlic tomato's gotta to be my favourite. Oh yeah, garlic tomato. You like your garlic tomatoes, don't you? Sun baked. Mm. You happy as well? Yeah. After leftovers. <laughs> We're taking the pool to you for his evening walk. And Danny's got to come because it's all rocks and I can't really lift it out on my own. Well, I can, but if I do, I might scratch the bottom and pop it. That is walkers in. I'm gonna sit here like royalty. Cause it's all rocks and the engine hits down. It's so shallow for so long. Come on, Daddy, mush mush. <laughs> Oops, man. We're like royalty, buddy. I'm getting a lift in, aren't we, Bubbs? And we've got to lift it up the beach, haven't we? 
Übel der Anker. Where you gone, baby? How pretty this is. In the woods. Yeah, and looking at the sea. Through the woods. It's such a lovely area. Oh my god. My dog's hogtied himself. Such an idiot. He did this yesterday and literally fell over. Such a plonker. Honestly, bad day. We're trying to work our way back, aren't we? Yeah. We've walked all the way around. And I'm thinking, if we've got this track here, we might take us back to the beach the other side, the other bay. Or it could be like that movie road. Yeah. Then we get lost. Oh, there's another track down there. Where does that one go? Isn't it lovely though? Really, really lovely here. Come on, bud. Found the way back, didn't we? Have a beachy, man. Oh, so bright. I like it. Yeah, Papa. Are you doing that water? Good boy. So I actually have a mat for a change. It's in German. Like I have a mat, which is quite nice. So we're here, look. We landed there and checked in at Amad. And we're just working our way down. We're about here now, somewhere. And today we're just going to sail down the coast a bit. So we're going to come out of here. We're just a bit before Porus. And we're going to come out of here and go down just past this river here. And there's a, like a little bay here we're going to tuck into. We're working our way to Pula. We've got people visiting when we're at Pula. So we're working our way down. If you look on this one, you see we're here. And we're going to go all the way down here, past all this. It's all lovely anchorages down there. But we're going to go past here to this little one here. This looks quite nice. Come on. This is us guys here. In this little bay. It's really cute little island here, as you know. And we're just going to come out here and go all the way down here. Avoid all this. There's quite a lot of stuff there. We'll go out a bit. I'll probably go in here, see I've got a little marker here and then we're going down into there. Should be fun and it's not far at all. Look at this scenery, I just thought I'd show you what I've noticed about Croatia is it's just all woodland. It's woodland, it's like little towns pop up in the middle of woods. Everywhere you look it's just woodlands, everywhere for miles and miles and miles and miles and then these little towns like that and they just pop up in the middle of the woods and then it's still woods all around them it's absolutely fantastic wouldn't it be fantastic if the world looked like that still huh Christ is obviously not overpopulated feeling that as we get further along it's not going to look like this it's going to look more populated and more you'll probably see more farming and the trees will be gone and it won't probably be as beautiful but we'll see we don't know do we i haven't been yet so don't know keep following along and you will see it is pretty amazingly beautiful though i don't know if you can get that aspect from here and you can get those pants and you can swim in but we'll see and i'll keep showing you we're just pottering along i've actually still got the engine on i should just turn it off we're doing forward knots it's just on like tick over uh, and the winds are just building so it's going to go off in a minute we're sailing which is lovely we're only doing like a 10 odd mile sail i think 10 15 something like that and then we want some fuel so we'll do that today or tomorrow whatever oh, that freaking boat's going everywhere. I know, it's like mad. Yeah, one boat going that way, one boat. Listen, there's one that way, one going that way. That went in front of that one, and that went in front of that. I was behind that one, so I went behind this one, and then in front of this one. <laughs> Manic traffic. It's like, yeah, a lot of traffic. I'm like, ooh, get that in. Yeah, the swell was like pushing us on. I thought your dad had pulled us on. 
but it wasn't it was just a but swirl. you know it, it was a swell pushing us off do you know what there's a great big bit of net in the water behind <laughs> us great yeah there is yeah, don't want that you on your pop. Get over! Yeah, oh, you boy, you're miles away. Yeah, it won't be that. Buddy, buddy, What's she got? What's she got? What the hell? How did my voice go that high? Right. You can just jump on the back. Let's go. Let's go. Get out, get out. Huh? I'm going to come up there. Uh, even though it burns my feet, just for YouTube. <laughs> it's straight in front of us. So we arrived at this lovely little island. I love it. And me and Bear swam over there because I saw massive ovens. Like they look like big pizza ovens, you know, like the big brick built ones. So me and Bear had to swim over. And they are the big ovens and it's just got like a sign saying you can use them, just obviously be careful at your own risk sort of thing. But there's um there's even coal, people left things behind. So there's coal, there's oil. There's a fire extinguisher, which is hilarious. I'm sure it won't work, it's all rusty. But yeah, and there's like wood, old wood broken down trees and stuff over there. You can just break up and make, make the fire. Yeah, looks brilliant. Daddy dudes is just droning. Did you hear the drone? So I've just made some pizza dough. That's proven in the sun somewhere. Um, and then I'm gonna make some pizzas. I think I'm gonna make calzones though. Like make them here. I think I'm going to make them here and then like fold them in half, take them over and cook them over there on them big, big pizza ovens, but like Carl's own so I could just like flip them over just because in the dinghy they're going to probably stay together better if they're folded aren't they in half like nothing can like fly off. What do you think? What do you think? Is that all right? Chris says we might need potatoes and salad with it. I'm not so sure. I'm thinking probably a pizza, a little Carl's own each is probably enough. But it does eat a lot. So we will see. I don't know. Anyway, I haven't stopped. I've just topped up loads of toppings, all sorts, peppers, courgettes, mushrooms, sweet corn, onion, some garlic. I made a tomato and basil base. Oh, I've done it all. So it's just ready now. Oh, and some olives, chop some olives up to go on. Yeah, it should be really nice. So I'm just waiting for that, that to prove a bit longer. Then I'll knead it again and then I'll make them. And then I won't swim over with them though this time. We'll all go over by tender. We'll just wait until all the day trippers are gone and it's nice and quiet. And we'll take some nice beers, some pop for the kiddos. The dog can run around and we'll cook the pizzas on the big ovens. You'll love it. You're coming with us. You ain't got a choice. You're coming whether you like it or not. And if you was here, I would definitely supply you with a beer or a GT. Oh, that's all we've got. Oh no, we've got some um, yellow like liqueur stuff I can't think what it's called like a Spanish Italy thing what's it called? No, can't remember tell me in the comments what it's called like a lemon liqueur anyway that's what I've got you want some of it? you can have some if you like you might like it offering this beautiful drink to yeah. you right see you over there ta ta
Right, we didn't go over to the island very sadly because Bo's hurt her back. Not quite sure why, but she did hurt her back when she was a lot younger and she has flare ups every now and again, so she's pulled her back. So we're just resting. She's resting. Maybe go over and cook something on those big ovens tomorrow. For lunch. But in the meantime, I've still made amazing pizzas. They yeah, look, oh my godish. There's a little one for Bear, there's a bigger one for Bo, and if you look in the oven, I've got another two in there now. Look at the size of that bad boy. That's your one, that's my one in there. Oh my, my god. One. So they should be extremely yummy, yummy. We can still have nice drinks and stuff, I'm making the most of it. It's still, it's still an amazing anchorage here, and we've nice got drinks. amazing scenery. Yeah. You know. You can't complain, whether we're there or here, we are still living the life, man. Living the life. Super duper great, fantastic. Thanks for joining us! Sorry you're not over there and you're here, but it tastes really yummy. Have I've some. got some drone footage of it, but I'm going to be going again tomorrow, so yes. yeah. <laughs> oh, I tell you! Look at that sunset, stop giggling! <laughs> The beautiful island, beautiful sunset. Well, I'm talking about knuckle busters. And the dogs, and the dogs over here, knuckle busters. Yeah. Knuckle busters. Where's the dog gone? Dog's gone. Don't forget about that. Plastic surgery can't fix that nose. Okay, you can test it. Rumpus snout skin. You can only live if I catch a fish with that. I'm sorry. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next week where we have more adventures and more wonderful sounds.